Hi, it's Francis. Welcome back. Now, this video here, some people could turn off straight away because they want entertainment. They want that dopamine to be hit. But we're serious over here and we need to make sure that these are the types of things that we speak about. OK, so in today's video, I want to cover the importance of philosophy. Stoism to be precise, because that's what's changed the game for me. And some people reach out and they ask me, Fran, you preach about stoicism, stoicism all the time, you know, and, and faith and things like that. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't behave how some of the best leaders and the most self-mastery individuals that we've ever had on this planet, like Alexander the Great, Marcus Aurelius, whoever it may be, then who are you going to learn from? Some TikTok guy or some silly girl who's talking about whatever on, on these TikTok and got famous by doing a crude reaction? I don't think so. And this is definitely not the channel for you. So today I want to speak about the importance of philosophy and specifically stoicism so the first thing is what is stoicism but if you don't know about stoicism there's a great author in america called ryan hollanday and he's got a list of books here and i'll touch on those briefly okay but stoicism is basically a way um, a way of living a disciplined life where you control your emotions but more importantly you accept the fact that you can't control certain things and that really aligns with trading. I spoke about this when I went on Top Step TV, big shout out to them, Top Step. And I was talking about stoicism. I was talking about how you need to train the mind to not react on the things that you can't control. And if you ever look back to all the times you've gone a little bit crazy or got jealous or got angry or anything like that, it's purely down to the fact that it's something that you can't control, okay? So if we can create a mind that instantly reminds ourselves, well, at the end of the day, I cannot control that. But what I can control is my reaction and my mindset to that situation. That's going to really, really help you when it comes to trading. Because at the end of the day on the charts, you cannot control the outcome. You can control the entry and you can control your mindset while you're in the trade, but you can't control the outcome. And then it's how do you react from that outcome? And if you don't have the right mindset or you don't have control of your emotions, you're probably going to revenge trade. You're probably going to FOMO. You're probably going to go hell Mary and you're going to blow your accounts, whether that's funded or whether that's personal. And I know because I've been there myself. So I've had to try, train the brain and rewire our biological belief systems that's been implanted in our brains from our teachers, our environments, our parents, relatives and friends as a youngster. You need to rewire that to become the individual that you want to be, okay? So there's a couple of books and a couple of things that I want to speak about. So the first one is this one, okay? Now, The Daily Stoic, this is falling to bits, as you can see, okay, is a daily meditation and wisdom. Each day, you have small passages that you read, and then you have a matching book, which is a daily journal. You have a question, and you answer that question. That will subconsciously go into your mind for future experiences when you are struggling okay and one of those will be when you're in a red trade when you're in a red trade and the emotions come in and the biological chemicals in your in in your brain clash and make you react through anger through fear through anxiety through greed you will subconsciously implanted the way to think like a philosopher okay now not only that, we talk about the most famous one, which is Marcus Aurelius Meditations. Now, make sure you get a certain copy because some of them can be quite hard to read because they're in the old Roman way of speaking. But this is a very, very important slow book. It's kind of like a Stoic philosophy Bible. Now, I do go church. I am a Christian. OK, and I respect all faiths. I like Muslim faith, lived in a Muslim country. I like many other faiths as well, just to get that on the record in case anybody throws any shade in my comments. I'm open to all comments, by the way. But this one here is um, the way that he lived. Now, remember, if you don't know about this, Marcus Aurelius was not meant to be a leader. He was second. He was adopted. And they went straight to him because they saw the potential and the power within such a young man. And this man here, and you think you've got stress, had to win wars, had to be ruthless, had to run an empire, yet he still took the time every day to stay strong, work out, be polite, and write down how we should live our life as individuals. 
Now, if he can do that and you're sat here and you're moaning about whatever, watching TikTok, eating a big bag of Doritos with the Dorito dust in your belly button and you're moaning about the world, let's think about it. I think you need to start changing your life and looking at different things. So what that does is if a man like Marcus Aurelius in those times, 2000 years ago, can run a life that is detrimental to the way that we as men and women, but mostly men, should run their life, then that's the one that you to go for. Now, we have Alexander the Great. Yes, people will argue with me that he did not do nice things. I understand, but he had to live a certain way. And there's loads of other, there's Seneca, there's, there's Aurelius, there's, there's, there's loads, okay? There's loads of ways and examples to go about that. Ryan Holiday, the guy who's daily stoic, also has got many books. And these are just three of them, okay? The Discipline of Destiny. Very, very important. Are you disciplined? Trading, perfect. Obstacle is the way. What's going to be in the way of your success? Many, many negative adverse, uh, adversaries, many, many um, thing, hurdles are going to be in, in your way. People, situations, environments, whatever it may be. How are you going to get over that? Obstacle is the way. And it's an ancient way of thinking, how do you get over the adversities that are going to be in your way? Very, very important. Stillness is the key. If we're not present at the present moment and we're always thinking about the future or the past, then guess what? We're never going to be present within the trades of charting. Now, I've been reading Stoism and self-help books, etc., for about seven years because I needed to change my life as an individual. I have a beautiful wife that I wanted to make happy and I have a beautiful family of children. And I want to lead by example. And by leading by example, this helps me in trading and it will help you. I'm a 44 year old man, ex-professional athlete, who has know a lot about life, been through everything you can possibly imagine, imagine, okay? And still want to learn every single day. Now, if you're watching this video and you turn around and say, well, he's arrogant or this and that, no problem. Because that's a problem with your self-mastery. And that is a great sign for you to go away and work on yourself. Think about it. It's a great sign for you to go and work on yourself. If you take gems out of this video and you say, that makes sense to me. I can go and do that. That makes sense to me. I can maybe work around this to really imp not impress, but lead my wife, lead my children by example. And then they can see the actions that I've taken. And that will lead into trading. Trading is a reflection of your life, my friend. If your life is a mess, your trading will be a mess. If your, if your health is a mess, your marriage is probably a mess. If your marriage is probably a mess, your finances are probably a mess. If your finances are probably a mess, probably everything's a mess. And definitely, 100%, your trading is going to be an absolute mess. Now, these videos are just to help individuals out there because I'm kind of obsessed with psychology, trying to push myself forward. I have doubts. I procrastinate. I do all those things myself. So these videos are good for me to look beyond and reflect on the way that I am as an individual. Now, I would highly suggest that you look into some sort of practice that's going to help you control the mind. If you're scrolling through Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and you're looking at YouTube shorts all day, I am sorry, my friend, you are not going to make it. You're not going to make it. The chances are you're not going to be successful because successful people do not waste their time doing that. They take their time to consume their mind with things that are going to help them in the long run. So it could be faith, could be faith. I'm very, as you know, everything is faith, the high almighty. I put every, everything in his hands and I allow that to do whatever it needs to do. Now, stoicism is a daily practice for me as long with prayer for me to allow my mind to not get engrossed in the things that are going to make me stressful. Peace is the most powerful thing that you can possibly have in your life. If you have peace, you're more than likely going to have a great life. Okay. Very, very important people. So again, a little bit deeper, a little bit different from that, but 
I can show you charts. I can show you entries. It's probably not going to help you be a top trader when we know 90% is psychology. And if anybody tells you that it's not 90% psychology, I probably would argue that they're probably not a good trader or a successful profitable trader because it is 90%, if not more, in one's mind. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next one.